Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwana. In this video, we will learn about Angular 17 attribute directives. So we are talking about attribute directives with a standalone approach. So try to understand this. This would be same even for Angular with a modular approach. But the only thing which varies is the place where we import this particular directive. So let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Now, how to create a directive and what is a directive? So directive is something like which will add some set of features to a particular element or a particular component that can be anything. So now if I want to add some set of features to a particular element, then I can create a directive and that directive can be used in a common or reusable content. So now how can I create a directive? Directive can be created by Angular CLI by using a command ng generate d for directive and i can use some set of name like highlighter so something like this highlighter and i want to skip the test file so i am using skip tests hit enter so it will create one particular file that is highlighter and if you open this highlighter by default as we are using angular 17 it will be creating a standalone so now this standalone directive can be used at any place so first thing what I will do is I'll use this app highlighter in my HTML. Let me go here, clear this off and let me add a paragraph. I'm using a paragraph with highlighter test and save this. Now what I want to do is I want to apply my directive on this highlighter test. So what I can do is I can use app highlighter. This is an attribute directive. That means we are trying to use a property of that particular directive and we will apply some styles and we will apply some actions to make a common behavior and can be used at any point of time. Let me save this, go here and just reload. Now it is normal text but if I want to apply some styles, for example, I want to get that particular element. For that sake, I am using a private element ref which is a service and this element ref what it does is it will give the element wherever this particular directive has been applied. So for example, in this case, I'll be getting a paragraph. So how to access that paragraph? I can access that paragraph by using element ref dot native element dot. I can apply some styles. Before applying the styles, I'll show you what this element ref will give the output. So this dot element ref dot native element. And let me comment this out, save this. Now, if you go to the browser, let me inspect this and just reload. So now you can go here. Nothing is happening. Why? Because here this app highlighter is a directive and we are using that directive in my HTML, but that is not injected in my TS. So this is a standalone approach. Hence, what we have to do is we have to apply our directive inside this component decorator. So let me go here, get highlighter directive, copy this and paste here and import it. The only difference between the standalone and modular is this import section. So whenever we are importing in standalone, we have to import in a, inside the component. And whenever we are talking about modular approach, this imports will be in the module and that imports should be happened in the module level. So now we are doing at the component level and now this is a highlighter directive. So let me copy this and what I'll do is what I'll try to apply some set of changes before doing that let me go here and remove all the debuggers and then I'll go to the console and you can see a paragraph and where this paragraph is coming from it is coming from highlighter directive that means you are able to access a paragraph element whenever you are using element ref dot native element let me uncomment this and let me add some set of styles to this background color is equal to let me defaults to hello let me go here reload and nothing happens let's see what's the problem nothing happened let me check the terminal so here this is a console which is printing in our paragraph we are printing here let me remove this and save this now go down and this is my app highlighter now let me go here and reload nothing happens somehow this is not detecting my changes let me run again go here and yeah so you can see there is a highlighter which is applying this color for our element. So now what I want to do is I want to change this color dynamically. So in that case, what we can do is we can apply this app highlighter in a receiver format. I can add a input field 
so i am adding an input field where this input field is also a app highlighter which will accept a type of string and i don't have any default value so i want to make it as mandatory input field so i am using a required as true so now this field will be mandatory once i save this so now what i'll do is i want to pass a dynamic value for this so let me pass a value called as hello and save this now what i want to do i want to showcase that hello instead of red so let me go here and add this dot app highlighter and save this if you see that doesn't apply any of this particular color why because we are passing some value via input decorator so whenever you are trying to pass as an input decorator the constructor will not work why because by the time the constructor executes the input will not have any value when it will have that value whenever you are using on change that means on changes so whenever we are using ng on changes then we can use this particular statement over here so that you will be getting the updated value so let me remove this and save this now you got the updated value inside the ng on changes and whenever there is a change in the app highlighter automatically it will change the color of that particular element let me go here now you can see this is yellow color so now i can pass any value from this like red yellow and blue whatever we want so now whenever i want to pass any color from any component this highlighter will work now what i will do is i'll create some set of buttons for us so what is my button button is equal to red and let me add a click event on this that is nothing but click is equal to i want to create a variable now so go here and i'll use highlighter color is equal to by default it is red so i want to pass this highlighter color here and we are passing a dynamic value hence property binding and now i will change this highlighter color to red here and let me copy this let me put it over here i'll make it as yellow and this is my yellow now let me save this whenever i click this particular button then it will apply yellow whenever i click this particular button it will apply red let me save the ts file go here and now when i click on yellow it changed to yellow when i click on red it changed to red but we may not always have different types of buttons instead what i'll do is i'll create a color picker so let me use an input field with a color picker so i'll use a type as color and here what i will do is i will create an ng model ng model and this model can be binded to this highlighter color so let me copy this put it over here save this but as i am using ng model we have to check do we have any form modules or not we didn't imported any form modules let me import forms module and save this now what will happen this ng model whenever i change the color from the picker then automatically the highlighter color will change that will apply to your directive and that directive will invoke this ng on changes and it will apply this particular color let me go here and just use this highlighter let me click on red you can see there is a dark red and let me go into the blue you can see a blue color and you can see a specific blue color whenever i am clicking on any of this particular picker that color is getting changed over the directive so that's about your attribute directive you can pass n number of attributes to this and you can change them accordingly so that is about your attribute directive now we can use some set of listeners as well like host listeners host bindings on this particular components or directives so that we will be talking in the next upcoming video about host listener hope this helps you a lot for understanding attribute directives if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you